Hey and welcome back to Kiwi Tech. Today we're going to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery onto our Xperia Z Ultra. Now in the description I've got a link so download it and inside that zip file that you'll be linked to is another folder. So you need to extract that like I'm just doing now. And inside that folder you will see two bat files. Now you need to choose a bat file that is going to work for you because you must be rooted to flash clockwork mod recovery onto your device. Let me just navigate to my app drawer and you can see I have super su which means I need to execute the super su bat file. Okay so I've plugged my device in and I'm going to click, double click that and boom let's see what happens. Okay so this batch file opens up <clears throat> it'll detect my device it will flash all the necessary files. Press any key to continue. So what it says, it's going to reboot my device. Okay, so now my device is going to reboot into Clockwork Mode Recovery. There we go. Now I just took it out of my case because it was just a bit cumbersome. And you can see I need to navigate up and down with my volume up and volume down rockers. So I need to now reboot my device just to clean up my Clockwork Mode Recovery install. And it'll boot up. Once it's booted up, you can then power off your device and go back into Clockwork Mode Recovery. But the first time, it's pretty important that you reboot your system from Clockwork Mode Recovery. Don't try and do anything, just reboot it. Okay, my device is being fully booted up. I'm just going to turn it off. And... Wait for it to totally power off. Just give it a couple of seconds. Okay, now power it back on. Hold down the power button for about three seconds. Now while we do this, if you look at the top right corner of my device where the LED lights go, you'll see it flash green. As soon as the LED lights up, hold down the volume up button. There you go, purple. Which means that is going to be Clockwork Mod Recovery. There we go. So that's how we enter Clockwork Mod Recovery. Power your device on. As soon as that LED goes to green, push power up, and there we go. So what I'm going to do now is do an Android backup, just backup into my external SD card, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope this has helped you out. Don't forget, look in the description. There's that link to download the batch files. They're in a folder, so you just need to extract that folder to your desktop. This has been KiwiTech. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Xperia Z Ultra videos.